Hello, welcome to the Monday, February 28th, 2022 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. The big news item this weekend was still the war in Ukraine. Now, there hasn't really been an awful lot of news as far as cyber or network security goes. And one of the important things to keep in mind is there may still be something coming. We have no idea what will be coming. And at this point, really, the best thing you can do is do what you always do, Get a little bit off social media and sort of don't get into that uh, debt scrolling where you uh, sort of try to catch up uh, with every little bit that's coming out there. Mental health is important here and also if there should be a larger network security event, it's important to stay fresh for whenever that'll happen. There's really not too much else that you can do. A couple exceptions. If you have some exposure in the region itself, uh, meaning Ukraine, Belarus, Russia, uh, maybe also some of the neighboring countries, in particular business-to-business VPNs, that's sort of something uh, to look into. Uh, also, if your industry is inf- affected by any of the new sanctions that were published this weekend, it may be a good idea to get together with legal counsel uh, to figure out if there's anything you need to do from the network security or network configuration point of view. Talking about social media, uh, misinformation, disinformation is certainly still a big deal. Like I said, it may be best uh, to reduce your social media usage a little bit. And uh, yes, be careful what you share. Don't contribute to the misinformation. Better not to share than uh, to overshare and uh, share uh, information that's not entirely truthful. There's also been a highly publicized call by the Ukrainian government uh, to uh, ask for help, for IT help. Um, If you follow any of uh, these calls, uh, please be careful who is issuing uh, these calls. Make sure they're authentic and make sure you're comfortable with whatever they're asking for. We've also had a couple of little uh, diaries uh, this weekend, so just uh, summarizing uh, them here quickly. First of all, Didi wrote about some odd behavior when it comes to Windows 10 and fixed IP addresses. If you configured a static IPv4 address and there is a duplicate address on the same network, you're not going to get a warning. Instead, uh, the IP address is going to be changed to a link local one, a 169.254 address. So uh, a little bit odd here and no warning. I have to admit I'm not using Windows much, but I'm used to uh, seeing usually a pop-up that there's a duplicate IP address detected. Uh, You won't see the warning. It will just silently change the IP address. And he has a quick post with some tips how to load snort rules into WetWitness witness packet decoder. So if you're using NetWitness for network forensics, that may be useful. So you're getting your snort alerts right there inside NetWitness. And NVIDIA apparently had a breach. And now the reason I mentioned this here is with NVIDIA being a major provider of trusted uh, drivers that are pretty much included in every single operating system. This has potential to be a large supply chain issue, but at this point, according to NVIDIA, it appears to be a minor breach, meaning that uh, no source code has been tampered with. Of course, digital certificates are also always something uh, to look out for, but nothing from NVIDIA would indicate at this point that any certificate material, for example, was breached. And Microsoft acknowledged a problem with resetting Windows 11 devices. The problem here is that if you reset the device, but some of the files on the device were synced with OneDrive, then these files will not be deleted. So if you're, for example, resetting a device in order to resell it, or even if you're resetting it remotely, basically wiping it remotely after a device was lost or stolen, these files may still be present. The workaround is uh, to first turn off, disable, or uninstall OneDrive, 
or deleting the Windows old folder using Storage Sense in the Settings app. Not sure if uh, these steps will work sort of in the lost or stolen case. And well, that's uh, pretty much it for today. Thanks for listening. If I missed anything or if there are any uh, sources that I should consider as I'm preparing this podcast, let me know. And as usual, let your friends know about the podcast or let me know about any mistakes that I'm making. Thanks and talk to you again tomorrow.